Welcome to another tutorial with Merklin of Sweden. Today we're going to talk about engraving and engraving into styroform. I have over time up till quite recently bought most of my walls and everything that you typically would engrave as ready-made parts in the shop. That is very convenient but the possibilities to customize and to get a really good fit uh, into the landscape or wherever you're placing your stuff is somewhat limited with the ready-made stuff. So I have kind of learned to like the engraving uh, and also the, the, the number of possibilities and things you can do with it. So it kind of bridges over the extra work, I think. Maybe you will think so too. Let's get started. All right, in this video, I will make three engraving projects at the same time just to maximize the confusion here uh, this will be a round support pillar for a, a, a long wall i have on the layout i've made some wooden plate which represents the shape of the curved pillar in each of the sides of the pillar and with this as help i will cut it to the rounded shape with a uh, styroform cutter. This will be um, the platform on the main station and this will be a smaller kind of platform and I will start this by slitting the platform for the main station to the right thickness. Next thing is to cut the round shape of this support pillar in the styroform cutter, like this. Have to make several cuts to get uh, the shape, the desired shape. And this is what it looks like. Not perfect, but I will sand it to shape. The tools I'm using for the engraving is a steel scale, a knife, and a little special tool I made by folding one millimeter thick aluminum together. It's really not necessary. One can sharpen a screwdriver or something. It will make the same thing. I want each layer of the stones in this uh, pillar to be six millimeter tall. So I mark every six millimeter, six, 12, 18, 24, etc. Then I just press down the knife and let it roll over to the other side like this. And this is what it looks like when all of the slots are in place. Then it's time to cut each individual stone. And in the same manner I just press down uh, the tool or your sharpened screwdriver, whatever solution you choose. Uh, and mark each stone. I try to keep them about 9 millimeters long each so I get a consist consistent look uh, all over the, the pillar. And this is what it looks like when all of the stones are engraved. Then I put some plaster on top of this. When I put on the plaster I press lightly onto the styroform so that the plaster gets into the grooves and not on top. Once the plaster is dry, I want to sand the surface somewhat. Uh, so the stones in the pillars get a, a more uh, even structure, surface structure, and the plaster in between stays rough. Let's get started on the platform. For the platform I just engrave the edges. The surface will be asphalt or concrete. And when I make these uh, 
I don't cut through of course I just cut like maybe uh, one two millimeters down into the styroform so I get a, a visible engraved slot and on freehand make the stones or actually the edge of the pre-molded concrete L blocks. I used the same plastering routine as for the pillar on the platform. So I covered the entire surface and also the edges uh, with the plaster and make sure to press down uh, uh, the plaster into the slots in between the stones so the stones kind of stand out from the slots. Then it's time for painting. I use cheap acrylic colors. This is a uh, ivory black, titanium white and burnt umber and water as a thinner. As you might have guessed already, solvents is not very good to use on styroform because the styroform will melt. I'm blending here a kind of concrete gray color and then I just paint the entire surface and all the edges of the engraved stuff with this. On these support pillars, I will also add some detail, same as I do on the mountains. This is burnt umber and a red acrylic color. Then it's time for the black wash and I use a not so thinned black which I typically do. This is a bit more color in it and then I just, I just paint the entire pillar like this. Alright, great. Let it dry for a few seconds and then wipe the excessive color or dab with a sponge like that. Cool. And this is the final result, with the pillar in place along its wall, together with a bit of green stuff as well. And here's our platform. So, come on and try to make your own engravings. I am sure that you will like the result. If you like this tutorial and you want to see more of them, Please subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Until next time, see ya!